Phone Ken. Calling Ken on FaceTime audio. Ken? Ken? Are you there? This is Carlos. Uh, just wondering how it went today. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi. How did it Hi. go today? Oh, uh, it's uh, pretty good. I, um, <clears throat> they wanted me to go over to the... Did I see you at the far side at the hamster? Hamsterley, uh, Hamsterley Beach. Yeah, did, did I, I, I can't remember if I, if I saw you there. Uh, yeah, I saw you there at about 10 o'clock. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I was there, I was there till, hmm, let's see. well, they, I can't remember the time now, but they came over and sent a woman, uh, a lady called Anne, and, uh, and then I, so I went, went back, but, uh, I decided to walk back, and, I guess it wasn't a good idea because I uh, kind of hurt uh, hurt my leg. So uh, I'm just sitting here relaxing, hoping that the the, the rest will uh, uh, help. You know. How far do you think you walked today? Um, to, from from Hamsley back, I went back the other way on the back side, uh, along the oh the long way. Uh, the west side, past the railway, along the railway right away. Yeah, that right. that would be the longer longer way back from Hampstead. Oh, it? Yep. Oh. Up to Hampstead oh, so. is four and a half k, and from Hampstead to to the finish is uh, five and a half k. So, so that's what I did, and then. So uh, you went past the I, fishing dock. You went past the disabled fishing area. Yeah, there's a ramp there, and and. Um, um, yeah, um, the um, but it was it was great though. Uh, I think everybody, uh, as far as I know, everybody had a good time. The the the, the uh, it was a young fellow. I asked him if he was from Victoria, and he said yes. He was first in the hundred k. Wow. Short 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 guy. Oh, what about the guy with the ponytail? Did he finish the hundred k? I, I I don't know. Uh, he was slowing down a lot when I saw him and. Uh, there's, there was a couple of ponytails. Oh, that guy! The, yeah, the, yeah. He. Um, He's from Tofino. He he uh, um, he, he was doing quite well. Uh, as I didn't, he didn't change the pace at all for the whole day. He went just the, the same pace. I was quite impressed with that. Yeah, he's like uh, me. He's got one pace. He just he's a one pace pony. Yeah, and um, but the other guy, there was two or three uh, ponytails. There was a. A taller, a taller guy with a ponytail, and probably a uh, few of the women as well. Yeah. Did you, and, um, you know, you know, when I was with you at Hamsterley, the the winner of the fifty k, the women, that was her. You said she's doing really well from her pace. Oh, oh that was her. Okay. She won it. She won the fifty k. Oh, okay, that was the lady with the accent. Yeah, you thought she was Australian or something. Yeah, Australian or New Zealand or English. Well, I'm confused and, uh, because all those accents now sound familiar to me. Yeah, so so uh, yeah, it was. Uh, see, see, everybody seemed to have a good time. I mean, I did you see Joseph? Well, no, that's not true. There was two two women had to pull out because they fell and uh, hurt their legs. So I I spoke to both of them and they they were. Unfortunately, after all that time, all that training they did, and all the money they spent, yeah. they they had to pull out. One of them was the lady from the Nanaimo, yeah, and uh, the other one was, uh, um, can, can we, well, actually, it was three. There was a the short, uh, dark, dark skinned woman, very short, doing very well in the race. She fell and hurt her knees, and uh, she she thought I was Dorothy. She said, "Well." Uh, and I said, no, you better get a hold of him, because she wanted to ask him to see uh, if uh, 
let her let her uh, go down in, into a different race, and I, so I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. So she was in the fifty mile, and she wanted to go down to the. She 50K. was in the hundred k, and she wanted to drop down to the fifty, to the 50 mile? mile. Oh no! And uh, I don't know. I've no, never heard you, of anybody. You just want to say I'm not sure about that because there's some issues about distance. Yeah, well, you can't. Five, la- they... five laps is fifty k, but fifty miles is eight plus a little bit. So unless yeah. she did the little bit, she's, she hasn't done the officially. She hasn't done the eighty k. But she was doing really well, and it was a shame that she fell and hurt yeah. her, her knees. I, I hope I, nobody I, got hospitalized. What about Anne? No. Did she finish? Um, I I don't know. I, I didn't. I I saw her again. Uh, uh, she was alone the second time I saw her, and uh, she she apparently she'd picked up the pace good. quite a bit. And, good, uh, good, good for her. Yeah, so, so the, but the the guy that uh, uh, the, the the young boy, the young short, really short fellow with dark hair. He, I asked him where he was from. He said he was from Victoria. Okay. And he uh, knows all about the twenty four hour. He knows about Al's twenty four hour and Yanis yeah, Curry. Good. So the legend and, continues. Yeah, he, he said he, he did um, one hundred forty five miles in Phoenix. Wow. And. Every, and I he, he uh, I thought uh, that was more. I don't think Al did 145. I think if Al Al might have done 141 or 142. I don't know. But um, overall, Ken, just looking back on today, did you have a good time? I did, except that it was really hard walking back. Uh, mm-hmm. I was hobbling along like an old man, and I I, I just I, I hope there, these things are okay tomorrow. These these legs. Well, so, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get you one of those um, exercise bikes. I have one in my basement, but I don't have any way of getting it to your place. No. Uh, um, it's definitely is, old is school. You'd one, like it. Is that the one that you offered to me before? Yes, it is. But it's very heavy. It's got a, a massive flywheel, cast oh, okay. iron flywheel. And it weighs a yeah. ton, and one of the pedals is broken. You can oh, pedal it okay. on the spike, but it doesn't have a full pedal. One side oh, is yeah. fine, the other side is just a spike. I think it was a Sears bike at one time. Oh. So did, did you did you come out on, on your electric bike? Yep, I rode out on the electric, and um, we'll I, I did four, as you know, because you saw me at Hamsterley, I did four and a half kilometers with Anne and um, I was talking to her she wasn't really talking to me but she wasn't telling me to shut up or anything which Mm -hmm. was okay and then she's as you know she sat down and she said you want to have a rest next thing we know she's taken off yeah so so I thought I ran I, I think I ran about a kilometer before I caught up with her so she must have picked up the pace Maybe she was trying to get away from me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she thought, I better start speeding up, otherwise that guy's going to catch up with me again. Anyway, well, um, the last well, thing I heard from her, Ken, the last thing I heard from her was that she might be interested in talking with me, but tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, so I've left it open to her. If she calls me up tomorrow and says, come up to my place... And we'll talk. I'll do that. Yes. But uh, I'm not pushing it because, you know, that, uh, it's good to know. Apparently, from apparently, Mo tells me that she's finished. She finished the race. Oh. Oh, oh. oh okay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. Uh, I was looking on I, Facebook and I said that she started the 50K and Mo said, and she finished. Oh, that's good. Well, she really must have picked up the pace. Then. She must have thought, I don't want to slow down, otherwise Carlos will catch up with me. Anyway, well, uh, I went home. Uh, the, 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 the first time I saw her, I thought, boy, this is a disaster. She's going to have to pull out, but I guess uh, she did That's what I thought, and that was on the second lap. You saw her on the first lap. Yeah. Um, well, I thought, that, I thought the same way. But you know what I liked about today? Because I was going the same way as the runners, when I when somebody who passed me when I was walking, they would say, 
hello Carlos and you know we'd have a little chat and then they ran on and then Anne was saying who was that and I was saying what I knew about the guy and then the, the next person that passed us somebody would say hello Jackal and I would say that's a friend of mine from Tofino the, the guy with the ponytail and it, it, it oh, felt so nice to be instead of just seeing them flashing by you when you're going in the opposite direction when I was going in the same direction because I was walking it took you know like 20 seconds for them to get by me so some of them mm -hmm. would stop and talk. It's a well, shame I wasn't recording at the time. Uh, Bob Reed did a, uh, gave a little talk uh, just before the start. I got there early. I got there before the start, thank goodness. I thought I was going to... Was the uh, gate uh, open? When sure. Uh, yeah, it was. The, the second one, not the first. The first one, or the old the old entrance, it, it was shut. But the the one that everybody uses, it was open, thank goodness. Good. And uh, uh, and then he, he gave a talk. He mentioned that you had been race director for five years, and he did it for 20 years, and then uh, Darcy had done it for, I don't know how many, four years or something. And, yep. And he gave a bit of the history of the race. And Well, there was a uh, bit of overlap. There was one, I think, two years where I was part, I was race director, and he was um, co-race director. And then there was another year that he was the race director and I was his assistant kind of thing. So oh, what Darcy, Bob does Darcy. is he weans one of us off and he puts the other one on. So I have oh. officially been weaned off the race. Okay. So I don't have to yeah. think that it's my duty to be there every May. But I might well go back. I had such a good time today that I might do it again. It's just I don't like more than five hours of commitment to that race. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm um, not running it, why do I want to spend five hours at the lake? Well, uh, the, the, the there was one thing. I'm not criticizing any of the runners today, but there was, I've never seen... There, there, there was, I don't think there's ever been uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, a performance like uh, I saw with Dan Harlow but uh, a guy from the States, uh, um, uh, I forget his name. He's got the, co the course record anyway. He's running I don't think he told me this story. Yeah. Um, Dan Harlow, name? that's going back it, before 80, 19... Merle, Merle Harlow's uh, hu husband. Yeah. We, yeah. we were at the uh, water, there was a water stop right there um, where, where the you go down where that boat ramp uh, at, the, at the far away, at the far side there. Well, that's and the north, guy, the North Beach boat ramp. Yeah. Yeah, I know. and and uh, uh, and he 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 asked us to look. Andy Jones, that's the guy's name. Mm. And uh, he asked us to look after his stuff that he was eating or, or drinking. It was like to look like a mushy uh, uh, pudding. And his uh, sports. But there, there, no, don't think anybody uh, will ever. Uh, um, come anywhere near that. It was six under under seven hours, six yeah. six something, and now they're finishing around eight hours and nine hours or even ten hours. Well, they had twelve anybody, today. They had twelve hours to finish the hundred k. No, I mean the the time, the finishing time. Yeah, no, I'm talking it, about the cut time. When when if they finish after that time, they don't even get mentioned. There's a DNF. Well, the the guy that won it today, I think he did eight hours. That's pretty slow. Well, you know, faster well, than me I, for I, sure. I, I haven't seen the results. I'm I, I'm going to see if I can find them. But uh, uh, what, anyway, what I'll do, hey Ken, what I'll do is, point? I have my computer on and open at the moment. I'm going to look up and see if the results are available. If they are, I'll send you the link. Oh, thanks, Carlos. Because my yeah. computer's pretty fast here. Okay. In Gordon Head, we have very good internet. Well, it it, it was absolutely uh, the the cloudy. It, it actually cleared up and got actually hotter. Like those clouds that were there this morning, they've cleared off. And by the time it got around three or four in the afternoon, it was just absolutely clear, brilliant. What, what, do you think anybody might have suffered from being overheated or um, dehydrated? No, we kept asking them every time. I asked them, and I hope the other people were asking them on the other side. And they were drinking there was enough lots of water. 
there, there was the, the, what I what he gave what Dorothy gave me was water and and uh, sweet kids stuff, jujubes, jujubes, and water and candy. Did he yeah, give you any baked? Did he give you any baked no, goods? No, nothing. Yeah, they they had all that stuff at the at the finish, but I wasn't there. You see, they mm. it, it was. So you didn't get to eat any potatoes or any um, no, pretzels no, or chips. No, no, not where I was. Not at uh, not at Hamsterly. And yeah, but uh, what I what I noticed today is that they should put in a, a, an aid station at the at the uh, rowing rowing uh, club because if you're a walker, it takes you about forty minutes to get to the rowing club from the start, yeah. and that's when you want to have a snack, and then have a snack at the halfway, and then have a snack at the finish, and then have another well, snack. And- when I walked back, uh, I got I went by uh, way back. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. The, um, where there's a gate, they they, they lock the, the seer. It's always locked, and there's a sign that says you are now entering private property. Oh yeah, that's that that's was, where the uh, disabled fishing dock is. It's f- further than that. A little bit further. further back, it says that it's and uh, there's a camp, a kids camp there uh, yep. behind a barbed wire fence. That's right, just, the, the scouts. Just before you get there, and uh, there was a table there with water on it, but there was nobody there. No, there no, I think playing. they just left it unmanned. It was like just... Yeah, uh, so I don't know whether the water got disappeared and or disappeared or what, and then the the guy that won the race, he said that, oh, people had gone the wrong way. This is early in the first lap. Yeah. It wasn't marked, and they'd gone the wrong way. Oh. And, uh, and uh, I don't... Uh, and I'm not too clear on uh, some of the things that happened today. I mean, the, um, he, he kept saying, keep the water on your left. He asked everybody to raise their left hand. He said, all right, keep the water on your left. So I, I tried to do that coming back, but there's two or three places where I could see where you could go wrong. Yeah, there's so there's I, an option. But the you, thing you, is the that end. they all they all basically follow the, the the lake. They follow the shore of the lake. You're not going to end up on West Sandwich Road or anything like that. What happens is you've got two or three options to get... I noticed that myself, but because I knew the way, it wasn't a, an issue. But for somebody who'd never been there before, they would say, which way do I go? They well, had a choice had of a, two or three. Huge, somebody put a huge white arrow on the ground... To getting off the main trail. Yep, to, I saw to, that. I saw that when that, you come was, down. And, and that was fine, but then... Uh, After that, there was no more markings. No, and there were three or four places where you, you could have gone wrong. And so, but I just remember what he said, keep the water on your left, so I did. But then I saw, as I, I, I was following the, the, the water trail around, trying to get back to the finish, and I saw the guy that won the race. I saw him. He was on a different trail. Huh. Uh, like I, he was so probably doing I, a cool down. Pardon? He was probably doing a cool down jog. No, no. He, he was in the race. He was just finishing. It was. He was on his last lap. Oh, okay, but so he, I, he. The thing is, any other course that you could take is longer. So if they take a wrong turn, it's going to be slightly longer. But they're all going to end up finishing in the same spot. Some of them might have run a little further than they could have done, than they, they needed to do. Oh, but, so so it, if, you, if you do take a wrong turn, it's not going to make it uh, shorter then? No. If you take a wrong oh, turn, oh. it's going to make it longer. Well, he must have... He ran farther then. Because I, I, I thought, well... Um, well, probably by about maybe 500 meters, he might have run... a half a kilometer further than he needed, needed to. Well, I was thinking uh, that this, this guy, no wonder he won. If he, if he did that uh, eight, six or, or six or seven times and with a shorter trail... No, it that, would have been gonna... longer. Unless he was on the, the Lakeshore Trail, it would have been longer. Well, the next time I see you, I'll, I'll try and get a map of all the trails of, of, of that lake, and I'll, and I'll show you where he went, where I think he went. Okay, but well, he was he didn't he he wasn't on the same trail that I was on. No. When I saw him go by. Yep, he came up from the side. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know exactly where you mean. I know exactly where you mean. It's about a, a mile from the finish. But yeah, about a mile from the finish, and I, I, and I, I wasn't. I, I actually wasn't even sure if I was going the right way, but I. I guess I was, and I looked well, up. Well, because Bob said, keep the lake on the left, and you're okay. Yeah. Well, as I was getting near the finish, I looked up, and I saw this guy go by ahead of me, about uh, 100 yards ahead of me, but across in front of me. And I thought, well, it looks like he's, 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 he's cut, cut some distance off this. And if he no, did it, it would have been longer. Uh, any, okay. any of the alternate rate, r routes are longer. Oh, Okay. So, so if, if I can find a map of all the, well, anyway, it's all over. And uh, how did you get back, by the way? Did you see Joe? I, I, I walked. I walked back. I, I walked back and got the bus at the Berwick House. And, oh, uh, okay. Because uh, Joseph said that he was looking for you. I was looking for him too, and I, yeah, I, but we he was, and You know where he was? He was at the corner, right at the finish. And I guess when well, they were down to the last few people, he went home. You okay, must have well, finished close him. to the end. And, and uh, Dar Darcy told told me that he send he was going to send him over, but he never came over when I was at Hampshire. So, mm. I, so I don't, I don't know what happened to him. So basically, it cost you about sixty bucks to go and see the elk beaver. Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, uh, Forty or some, something like that. Uh, I guess I owe uh, you a beer next time we meet. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll I, buy I, I you thought, lunch. Um, you bought me lunch yesterday. I could buy you lunch next week. Okay, that that would be nice. We I, could I saw, meet at uh, we could meet at the bay. How about that? We could meet at the uh, bay center. Go and see Rob. Sure, ne ne next week sometime. Yeah. Yeah. You um, you choose a day that you're not doing your physio or whatever. Just a sec. I'll, I'll look at the. I, I've got it all written down here. I Check got your calendar. Questions. Um, it's uh, the, the, Sunday. It's the thirteenth. So uh, I, I see the surgeon on uh, Monday. On, on Monday, on the fourteenth. Yeah. And then uh, uh, for, the fourteenth and the fifteenth, I got appointments on both those days. What sixteenth? So, is that is that the yeah, Wednesday? 16th, yeah, sixteenth is a Wednesday. So sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteen is okay for me. How about Wednesday then? That'd be fine. That's Where should we probably. meet? At your place or at the cafe? Uh, at the, the the Bay Center. For the Bay Center or at, oh. at the at the coffee shop. It's probably up to you. Go to the coffee shop, if you, but we wouldn't be able to see Rob, you know. Well, the thing is, the the options are either to exercise and have a snack, or to just have a meal at the Bay Center. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Well, did you did you want to see Rob, or do you care? Well, I'd sooner have a, a a little bit of a workout with you. If if I'm okay, I'll see how my legs are tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, what we could do is we could meet up at the bay, have lunch with Rob, and have lunch at Rob's place, and then walk somewhere, and I'll get the bus home. Okay. Or I could yeah. ride down on my bike and then take the bike home. Mm -hmm. And you could walk to the Bay, bay Center. Okay, well... Would you do that? Would you walk there or would you take a taxi? Oh, no, I wouldn't take... I've, I've done it. I've spent enough money on taxis for a while. I, I, I would <laughs> walk or take the bus. All right, yeah. so listen, that makes sense. Why don't we meet at Rob's place at the Bay Center at noon on Wednesday? Okay. Does that so work for done. you? It, 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 it's done, yeah. It, that um, sounds pr pretty well uh, usable. We could do that. Meet up Wednesday, sure. on Wednesday at noon, and then we'll, we'll have lunch, and then we'll go, head our own way after that. So, so where, where would you want me to meet you? By the, the front entrance or up in the, in the cafe? By the front entrance. Front entrance, okay, at noon, okay. All right. As we did before, yeah. Like we always do. Yeah. All right, um, so I'll see just, you at noon on Wednesday. Okay. I just wanted to mention one other thing before uh, we go. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, John Brown came by, and he stopped and talked. Which guy? He, the the marathoner? He, the English guy? Yeah, yeah. He, he's back. He's back from New Zealand. He's living 
he's back in me in Victoria again. Wow. And, uh, That's a scoop. And, 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 and it was kind of a, it was kind of neat talking to him. We, we, he didn't, he just touched on a little, he, we, he didn't have a lot of time to talk, but he, he, he mentioned that he was in New Zealand and, and that, and I told him I saw him running. Which the track John and, is that? John Brown or John, uh... John, John Brown that went to the Olympics twice. Wow. Yeah, he the, remembered he came, you from, how he, come he, he, he remembers you? Pardon me? How come he remembers you? From Al Howie or from... No, his... no, he, he didn't remember me. I, I, I just, I remembered him. I told him that. I said, I, I saw him run on the track at, uh, at UVic. Oh, okay. And, and, which I did. And, and uh, he's super fast. And I was at, uh, um, when he um, uh, went in the, the, the uh, Pioneer 8K one year, and, and he was about a mile ahead of Jim Finlayson. That was when Jim Finlayson was really in good shape. Huh. And uh, yeah, so he, he's a pretty amazing runner, that guy. Yeah, and, and it's uh, good to know that he's running again, and he's back in Victoria. Yeah, and at the finish line, uh, but when I finally got back to the finish my walk uh, and got back there, I saw um, Rob Grant and Christine Thate, uh and that guy, uh, that South African guy. What's his name? Which guy? Uh, a South African guy. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I know him. I know him. Short guy. Name? Short guy with a little dog. Uh, Ke Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones. No, no, he's not South African. He's Brit. He's a Brit. He, he's not South African. No, no, he lived there, but he's from England. Well, he was there, and and Mo was there. Kevin and Jones. So Rob. Yeah, so those four guys were there. Good for and, them. Um, and and uh, that that lady. Oh 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 oh! I better stand up. You're starting to get a whoop, get it. You get a bit of a Charlie horse in my leg here. Oh wow! Um, um, the that that lady that were, that had a had the hat made out of flowers. That walker. Yeah. Do you know you know her? She was dressed in pink. Yep. Sort of a, a big, sort of a heavy, heavily built woman. The one that looks like a man. Yeah, yeah. Eva. She, she, she. she I think she finished the the walk, and and she told, and, and then I saw her at the finish. She said she was having uh, trouble with her heart, and I said, yeah. "Well, you better have it looked at right away." And uh, but she, unfortunately, she was late. She was forty five minutes late. What and, for uh, the start? Yeah, to the start. She probably so, went to the wrong end. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't so, matter so anyway, really. She probably still yeah. won the walk. I, I don't. I don't think she won it. I, I. I don't know who was first in the walk. Okay, I think I saw the woman that won the walk, because I saw a woman, a, a young girl. She had headphones. She had over oh, the that? ear headphones, okay. and and I said to her, "Are you in the forty k walk?" And she said, "Yes." Oh. Because she went by me and Anne like we were standing still. Oh, okay. She was just so, a young girl. She might have been 30. Mm -hmm. But she won the walk. That was her first 40k walk, which is, is good. I, I'm glad that the walkers are getting more enthusiastic. This year, they were more walkers than any other year before. Well, that's good. Yeah. They had something like six walkers. Yes. What was, the, what was the, the finishing time in the walk? No idea. I'm going to check in a minute. Once I get okay. the results, I'll send you the link, okay? Okay, okay Carlo. Sounds uh, good. But before we forget, Wednesday at noon at the Bay Center. Oh, okay, I'll write it on my calendar. Middle of the week, middle of the day. Okay. All right? Easy <laughs> to remember. Okay. Nice to see you today. Okay, Carlo. Good to see you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye for now.